urgent manhunt this morning for one of the two suspects behind a brutal attack on an elderly couple in Michigan that left the husband dead. Ring video shows the two alleged murderers pretending to be workers from a local utility company. Police say 72 year old Hussein Murray led them into the basement but never came back up. His wife called 911. 37-year-old Carlos Jose Hernandez was arrested in Louisiana. He's the one closest to the camera here, um, but his suspected partner is still on the run right now. Officials believe this was a targeted attack, and police are warning people across the country to call their utility company before letting workers inside. Let's bring back News Nation national security contributor Tracy Walder. Um, Tracy, welcome back. You know, the guy who rings the doorbell, I mean, he was caught this weekend. Um, from what I've seen of this video, you never really get a good look at the other guy's face, and it's been days now. He could be anywhere. Right, you're absolutely right. It's good to see you again, Marky. He really could be anywhere. And if you think about it, Mr. Hernandez was caught less than 24 hours after this crime down in Louisiana. That's about a 17, 18 hour drive. And so that's how far he got that quickly. So the other suspect truly could be anywhere. However, my guess is, is that he is probably going south and was with Mr. Hernandez at least part of that drive. Mm -hmm. Do you think authorities' best chance of catching him is, you know, the other guy ratting him out? Or what information do you think they have on the other suspect? So I think a couple different things. I think the good news is in this crime, however horrific it was, they do have probably a lot of video evidence and that I am assuming a lot of those houses around the housing development had ring cameras and videos. And so they probably or may have been able to get a look at of that suspect on his way out. Also, they probably got either toll camera or other kinds of camera of the vehicle traveling south into Louisiana. And so they may be sort of backing up his journey mm -hmm. and retracing those steps to see where the other suspect may have separated. Well, I keep thinking about the other people who live in this neighborhood, Tracy, and I'm sure everybody's, you know, wanting to know what a motive is. I know the victim is an owner of a pawn shop in Hamtramck, uh, Michigan. You think that has something to do with his murder? I do. I think based mm -hmm. on this crime, the fact that this was their second time coming back to the home in two days to try to gain access does tell me that they had probably followed this individual to and from work, learned his habits, and learned that he may have jewelry or other items from his pawn store on him and targeted this home. But it is incredibly brazen, in my opinion. Yeah, and talk about the measures they went to, Tracy. I mean, to even get into the house dressing like utility workers, they carried this clipboard. They even had a DTE placard, you know, placed on the truck. How much thought and planning does it take to pull off a crime like this? I think this was actually being planned for quite some time, in my opinion. The premeditation here is, is, is really high. They had a long runway. I mean, these are things that I did when I was trying to lure fugitives out of their home, putting those decals on fake work trucks and things like that. They had a manufacturer that they had cones um, in their vehicles. They had the vests on. They did have what looked like DTE forms that they had clearly manufactured that you see him hold up on that ring doorbell camera. But the one thing that they were missing were those photo IDs that identified them as DTE workers. And lastly, what's your message to Americans who are watching this story? They're following it. The, the second guy still hasn't been caught. What's your message to viewers? You know, I think anytime you have any kind of worker, not just a state worker, a utilities worker coming into your home, please, please, please call the place of origin of their employment and verify that they have indeed been dispatched to your home. Also, always ask them for photo ID, but I go one step further and I also ask them for their government issued driver's license as well. If they won't provide that to me, then that tells me that they're here under suspicious pretenses. Yeah, can't let our guard down, especially as we head into holiday season. So many people showing up, delivering things to the front door too. Um, really good reminders. Tracy Walder, thank you so much for joining me twice this morning. Appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.